very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in christ and outside the body of christ and once again this is your christian brother eric Braxton speaking to you all from this beloved country trinidad and tobago the land of my nativity the land of my birth trinidad and tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue caribbean sea speaking to you all on this wednesday the first of january 2020 in this brand new year i say welcome ladies and gentlemen boys and girls all over the world who are fortunate to see this video on the internet and the world wide web on youtube i say welcome brothers and sisters um, i am in the new testament brothers and sisters in the pieces in the general pieces of jude in the new testament the general pieces of jude the book of jude so without further ado let the reading begin jude the servant Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, and brother of James. These are disciples of Jesus Christ, Jude and James. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, and brother of James. To them, that's the saints of God, that are sanctified, sanctified, sanctification, by God the Father, God our Heavenly Father, and preserve kept in Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, and call, call by God, Mercy, the supreme eternal mercy, mercy of God, mercy unto you, the saints of God, and peace, of course, from the God of peace, the eternal peace of God, and peace and love, the eternal love, because God is love and love is of God. So mercy unto you, the saints of God, and peace and love be multiplied, increase in our lives. Beloved saints of God, when I give all vigilance, concern to write unto you of the common salvation and salvation is of God and God is the God of salvation which means to be saved by the saving power of God of the common salvation it was needful important to me to write unto you the saints of God church of God and to exalt you encourage you the saints that he that he should earnestly contend for the faith that were once delivered unto the saints, contending for the faith, defending the faith, standing up for the faith, brothers and sisters. Content, of, content for the that you should earnestly contend for the faith which were once delivered unto the saints, the saints of God, the church of God. For there are certain men creeping unaware, the coming unaware, and the saints are not conscious of these men are creeping unto them or join them unaware. For there are certain men creeping unaware who will be for a whole ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men, unrighteous men. I mean women also. Turning the grace of our law of our God into last lievousness. Last lievousness before the sin. Sinful activity, sin, transgression, and the last lievousness, denying the only Lord God, that's God the Father, denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore, I will therefore put you in remembrance to make the saints remember, not forget who he once knew though they knew of this of that teaching knew that once knew this how that the Lord Jesus Christ that the God of Israel having saved the people that's God who saved the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt that's in the days of Moses when God brought the children of Israel out of Egypt saved the people the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt afterwards destroyed them that believe not this is talking when God delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt and he brought them into the wilderness and he's speaking about the rebels, the children who rebel against God in the wilderness of God. Of course, God destroyed them in the wilderness by allowing them to wander in the wilderness for 40 years till they die out in the wilderness. I read that in the book of Exodus. Out of the people, save the people out of the land of Egypt afterwards destroy them that believe not and the angels which this speaking about the fallen angels and the angels which kept not their first estate 
but left their own habitation dwelling place or the estate. He had preserved in everlasting chains under darkness until the judgment of the great God, of the great day. Let me explain this, brothers and sisters. This is talking about Lucifer and his angels. And the angels, that's referring to the fallen angels, which kept not their first estate, which means when God created all the angels, Lucifer and his angels, and of course there are angels, but Lucifer and his angels, because this text refers to, refer to them, God put, the, put them on a wonderful estate. So God, so and the angels, which is Lucifer and his angels, and other angels, still mean Lucifer and his angels, which kept not their first estate. So it means this text is showing us that God placed Lucifer and his angels on a wonderful, in a wonderful position, in a wonderful place, on a wonderful estate. Right? To see about it. Right? But left their own habitation. Habitation, you are dwelling in a place, you inhabit the place. You are the inhabitant of the place in habitation. Place where the angels were dwelling on that wonderful estate that or in that place where God placed them. Right? And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had preserved in everlasting chain under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. But before I come to the judgment of the great day, this text is saying that God placed Lucifer and his angels in a wonderful place, a wonderful estate. And God now, who is a good God to all his, all his creation and to the angels that he created, he expects Lucifer and his angels to be obedient to him and to remain on that wonderful estate that he placed them there. Because by Lucifer and his angels remaining in that wonderful estate that he placed them, they will reap the, the, they will reap the spiritual benefits and the divine and the wonderful benefits that God created them to inherit and to have in that wonderful place that he has placed them in that wonderful estate. But unfortunately, let me repeat, but un unfortunately, when Lucifer rebelled against God, the, an his, the angels that joined him, they left that wonderful estate that God placed them and they went and joined Lucifer. So now, by the angels leaving that wonderful estate, that wonderful place that God placed them and went and God joined Lucifer, it means that they are no longer on that estate, so they cannot reap that wonderful benefit that God was intended to give them if they remain on that estate. Because now they have to withdraw themselves they from that estate and went and joined Lucifer, unfortunately. They should, Lucifer and his angels, wheresoever God placed them in the kingdom of God, they should have remained there and abide there. Oh yes, oh yes. And if they did do that, they have done, they, they, they should have, they, God expect them to do that, God, the Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. But unfortunately, this big unfortunate rebel came came about, and Lu the, Lucifer and his angels. It doesn't matter what part God put them in the kingdom. They're in the kingdom of God, but this, the the angel the, these angels left their estate and went and joined Lucifer. Unfortunately, but it didn't happen. But when these things took place, human beings wasn't created as yet. Unfortunately, so that's the hardcore matter, and that's the fact about the matter, brothers and sisters. Okay, brothers and sisters, so let me read it one more time before I come to the end of this part 5 video. And the angels which kept not their, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, dwelling place, he had preserved in everlasting chains, everlasting chain under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. The judgment there means when God will um He will judge the fallen angels. He will judge them and and He will judge them and bring judgment upon them for the things that they have done and all these things concerning their rebellions against Him. Right. So that 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 this that judge judgment be for that, brothers and sisters. Right. Okay, brothers. I will hold it up there in the book of Jude because I see that I reached my ten initial ten minutes. Right. Right, so I'll stop up to the end this part. Okay, Jude, we've got Jude part one. Okay.
So brothers and sisters, as I remind you all, for this new year 2020, I will be going through the whole of the Bible, reading the Old and New Testament at the same time, brothers and sisters. Right? I'm teaching you all out of the scriptures, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, the words of God, the divine revelation of God given unto mankind, given unto the children of men. Brothers and sisters, so right now I'm in the book of Jude, right? Right? So I want you all to follow me with Bible at hand, with Bible in hand. The book of Jude. In all the spare time, take up the book of Jude. When you all watch the video, let's not only watch the video, but actually read all the texts that I've recorded in the scriptures in this video. You all literally read it and go to go to the book of Jude, brothers and sisters. Read the book of Jude. But I help you all in all the, in all the um, studies in the words of God in the Bible, brothers and sisters. And then help you all in all the teaching, to teach the words of God to others. When you all go to evangelize the, the words of God. Right? So, 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 I have, so, so, okay, brothers and sisters, I will hold it up, hold it up at this juncture. So in this first, in this part one, in this part, in this part one video in the book of Jude, so shalom peace, see you all in the next video soon, bye bye my friends.